It's a post-pandemic trend at healthcare facilities across the country. Overworked employees calling it quits at an alarming rate. I would almost say 90% of our interviews that we were having over the last year and a half You'd ask why they're making a change and they'd be saying, I'm looking for a work-life balance. That's why Executive Director Shannon Lynch decided to try something new at the summit. Our employees work 32 hours and they get paid for 40. Five months ago, the long-term care facility adopted a four-day work week. But they're actually saving some money, spending more time with family, doing things that mean the most to them. Our overall culture and morale has increased dramatically. The benefits are similar to the findings from the world's largest four-day workweek study that recently wrapped up in the UK. 71% of the nearly 3,000 workers said they felt less burnout. 39% said they weren't as stressed. I'm a big advocate. Boston College professor Dr. Juliette Shore led that study and has been researching this topic for decades. What these new trials are showing is that it's not just employees who benefit from this. That's something that I think feels pretty commonsensical to people. Um, but employers are benefiting too. At the summit, Lynch says they've reduced overtime, cut the costs of contracted medical professionals, and are filling open roles with quality local candidates. We were getting maybe 21 to 27 applicants a month, and you know now we're averaging about 140. Over at Crown Point Cabinetry in Claremont. Now I'm gonna go ahead and staple it all around so it stays put. They've been reaping the benefits of a four-day work week for about 20 years now. It allowed the, the snowmobiling in the wintertime on Fridays and golf on Fridays in the summer times. Getting everything done on Friday and having Saturday and Sunday full family time is the best for me. The owner says happy employees are key to the company's worldwide success. It's worth your time and energy to get it to work because once it does, you will never look back. And according to the data, that's true. 92% of the 61 companies in Dr. Shore's latest study will continue with a shorter week. The pandemic created a much more demand, but it also opened up employers' minds for innovation. Um, and it's. I just hope we can keep those minds open. <laughs> Do you envision ever going back to a five-day work week? No. No. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would not like that. <laughs> I would not like that at all. Now, Dr. Shore says this model is more difficult for certain industries, especially manufacturing and construction, but she says there are ways to make it work.